These two teams met at the beginning of the season, with Cambria Heights falling short against Purchase Line in a gritty 7-19 loss. I mean, the first game didn't go our way. We lost that game, but I, I was proud of the way the kids battled. You know, we needed to come back and correct some things I thought we did. You know, our goal each week was to, to get better each week, and I thought we did that. Cambria Heights got off to a commanding 21-0 start at the end of the first quarter, largely in part to the explosive on-the-ground plays of Stephen Nealon. Mm -hmm. uh, we prepared well. We had a great game plan coming to the game. We knew we had to do, and we uh, executed greatly. Here at the District 6 Championships, despite Cambria Heights' dominating start, due to the weather conditions and sheer willpower of Purchase Line, it became anybody's game. Purchase Line was able to put two scores up on the board, one coming off of an explosive 81-yard fumble return touchdown. But due to the cool-headedness of Cambria Heights' front five and quarterback Isaac Weiland, the Highlanders were able to stay ahead. We had to run the ball a lot more, but we could pass when we had to. But our, um, our offensive line did an amazing light, and they, made, they opened holes. For, for Steven and all, other, and, and all the other running backs. The Highlanders will now head to the second round of state playoffs next week. One, two,